Hello everybody! Yes, I'm back! Um, since I'm going through March's emails, I didn't see this back in March when it happened. So I'm so sorry, you know. I know you guys are getting this information to me and I just... I need three secretaries is what I need. Alright, this was in Newsweek, uh, March 29th, 2019. I'm going to put the link down below. Russian police raid Scientology offices, accusing church of siphoning millions of dollars back to the U.S. You know, the thing is, is I know people are entitled to worship and believe what they want, but not at the expense of hurting others. And, you know, this is what most of us... Um, activists have been fighting for is to see all of these cults getting exposed you know for all the horrible things that they have done and are doing okay I'm gonna read the article here Russian police raided the offices of the Church of Scientology in Moscow and St. Petersburg on Thursday in connection with a case of alleged fraud officials in Russia claim that the church raised approximately 45 million dollars in seminars and other events around Russia then sent the money back to its headquarters in the United States. But isn't that exactly what Watchtower does? You know, all the donations and stuff, doesn't that, you know, go to their headquarters in the United States also? So see, they're not just picking on Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay, back to the article. They also claim that the group stole money from investors. The Church of Scientology is one of the handful of religious groups facing persecution in Russia after being deemed extremists. Jehovah's Witnesses, who have been banned outright, have faced similar crackdowns with many of its adherents jailed. It is unclear whether Thursday's raid was part of the legitimate crackdown on financial fraud or part of a larger effort to curb the activities of a religious group. The case of the Church of Scientology has received less attention worldwide than the Jehovah's Witnesses. Because you don't see Scientology, you know, on the news whining and crying and, you know, going crying to all the governments. Oh, help us, help us. Go crying to the UN. Help us. You know, we need help against Satan's world. Um, but videos showing police raiding the offices of the Church of Scientology are reminiscent of footage of raids on the Jehovah's Witnesses places of worship and we've all seen those. In 2017 the US Commission on International Religious Freedom ranked Russia one of the worst violators of religious freedom in the world. The Organization for Security and Co Cooperation in Europe OSCE and we've mentioned them before also called on Russia to guarantee the rights of its residents to practice the religion of their choice. Yeah, practice the religion of your choice. But, you know, don't take advantage of these people and, you know, get every cent they have and then send it all to your headquarters here in the United States. We urge other participating states not to repress the exercise of freedom of religion or belief and justify repression in the name of security only through respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms, including the freedom of religion or belief, can the region work toward true security, the OSCE said in a 2018 statement. We renew our call on Russia to immediately release all those in prison simply for exercising their freedom or religion or belief. According to Memorial, there were 103 prisoners of conscience in the Russian Federation. We urge Russia to release prisoners of, of conscience unfairly held in pretrial detention and drop any ongoing criminal investigation into their activities. You know, I wonder how they would feel if millions of us ex-Jehovah's Witnesses started contacting the OSCE and said, what about our freedoms? You know, what about our human rights? You know, what about the human rights of all the children being raped and nothing being done? You know, what about those human rights? What about the basic human rights of being able to associate with our family and friends freely? You know, what about those basic human rights? Thank you for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day. Bye.